Hey everyone, welcome back. This is our January 2025 update. Happy New Year everybody. This past uh, 2024 has been pretty crazy and I'm expecting 2025 to be pretty crazy as well. First of all, if you haven't heard, we are working on the launch of the 2x4 alt mill coming at the end of this month. We are also working on some smaller concepts, which we've been calling the smalt mill, which are more focused for uh, smaller metal milling, more like uh, small parts. If you'd like to learn more, we have an article in our blog. We've made a big push to pack and ship alt mills for, uh, for, our, for December. We did run into a couple delays for getting parts, but we have shipped around 60 more alt mills uh, at the, the end of the month, and we're expecting to continue to ship hopefully 60 to 100 more alt mills in January. We're also seeing uh, a lot of growth in the sales for the alt mill. We are finding that we're starting to run out of space in this office that we just moved into uh, last November. We're slowly doing some uh, organization around the office to try to fit more space for more alt mills as well as uh, looking at different space options either in the building that we're currently in and external options such as off-site off, uh, off warehousing to be able to expand production and kind of tide us over as we continue to grow. In other news, we are also slowly chipping away on offering a larger spindle option. We know that a lot of users have kind of finding the, the smaller spindles to be a bottleneck, although it works really well, especially with customers that only have access to 100 and 10 volt power. We're looking at some approximately three to three and a half kilowatt spindles that will be another option available for the alt mill. We don't have specific timelines for that. I'm thinking it'll be about six months until we have that available, but that would um, improve the uh, productivity of the alt mill as well. What we're also looking at is the bigger the spindles are, the safety requirements we wanna have for those spindles are also changing as well. So not only are we caring about how much performance can we get out of spindle, we also want to make sure that they're safe for the general public as well. Long mills are shipping out as usual. We have packed uh, about 100 last month and we're continuing to ship them out. And our team is continuing to pack more because we have the stock for them. Laser beams are also shipping out as usual. We do have some stocked up, but we do need to spend more time packing the remainder. So after the next 20 lasers, there may be a small delay in, in getting more lasers out, um, but you can check the lead times on the website if you are expecting to uh, order the laser beam. Also for the Vortex, have been shipping uh, the 30 inch wide ones out because we have extrusion for them, but we are waiting on some more 48 inch wide extrusion to come in should be in the next week. And so we're letting customers know that the wider vortex that is used for the 48 by 48 alt mill and the 48 wide uh, long mill will be about a two week lead time. After we get that queue cleared, we should be at a typical three to five business day shipping time for the uh, vortex. In other news, we now have a name for the router that we've been working on. The router will now officially call the Autospin T1. If you'd like to learn more about it, uh, make sure to check out the landing page or the article that's on the blog. We are currently waiting on the prototypes to be finished around the end of Jul January or mid to end of January. And we'll have a second batch of prototypes ready mid February, which will be used for our beta testing program for the auto spin. We will try to shoot for full production sometime in the middle of this year. G-Control panel computers, our second batch of 300 panel computers have shipped, are on the way to us now, and we are expecting that batch to be arriving January 22nd. Once those arrive, we'll be clearing out the wait list for the uh, G-Panel computer. We've seen a lot more uh, sales of those computers than we were expecting, and so we are pretty much at the end of that 300 batch. We've also already ordered another 500 computers, which will finish production at the end of January and ship uh, in February. So we're expecting another 500 computers to arrive probably about mid-March. We're trying to catch up with our demand for the G-Control panel, uh, panel computers. We also have worked on a lot more resources. So if you're 
looking into having different programs start up automatically when you turn on the computer, setting up networks and file sharing on the computers, as well as upgrading RAM and memory. We now have uh, guides on our resources available. So if you're looking, if you're interested in that, make sure to go to our G Sender, uh, sorry, G Control resources page, and the link is in the blog also. If you're placing an order for G Control now, you should be on the first batch of the 300 um, or in the batch of 300, which we'll be getting in January. At some point we will run out of that batch. So customers who are gonna be ordering more panel computers may be waiting another month or so after their purchase for those to arrive. The Toronto Woodworking Show, which we'll be attending with the uh, Long Mill, the Alt Mill and all our doodads. If you'd like to check us out, we'll be at the Toronto Woodworking Show from the 17th to the 19th. So uh, yeah, check us out. Otherwise, we also do have a lot of uh, new job postings available. So if you want, if you're looking to do engineering or production work, which is sort of what we're focusing on right now, you can look us up on Indeed, which is where I think the jobs are being posted. We have uh, LED lights that we're working on for the alt mill. We will have more table legs available for individual purchase that um, because people have asked them for building benches. If you are curious on seeing what's going on or want to read about it, I do write these all in long format article style and there may be videos and other content that you can check out. Otherwise, we'll see you maybe next month, but I will be on vacation. So you might not see a video, but you will definitely see a blog. See you later.